Hey guys, welcome back to Water Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video 20 V having a BMW 3 Series Generation F30 F31. This specifically is a 3 Series BMW from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have a problem where headlights do not work, guys, stay with us. We'll explain which fuses you need to check before you start messing okay with replacing headlights itself or trying to find if it's a headlight switch. We have a special fuse for that one as well. We'll explain where they're located. Some of those are in a hidden fuse box where you can buy cheap fuses parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys every single car that we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything engines transmissions bodywork why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can on this channel you will be able to find videos about every single fuse on that bmw relay let's say you're down the road uh, you're in the middle of nowhere and you blow a fuel injection fuse you need to see where it's located uh, we'll have the video on the channel you just search for one or two minutes look at the video replace it and you're back on the road otherwise guys it's really confusing with these fuses that's why we're making these videos if you need to buy any tools uh, parts for your bmw uh, fuses relays at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below we'll share it for your convenience so let's start on it now what we have here specifically we'll demonstrate guys on a 2013 BMW 3 Series. Fun fact guys about this car, you have by the way up to 6 different fuse boxes. Most people know maybe about 2 or 3 of them but you have up to 6 different fuse boxes. If your headlights do not work what you need to do guys now. First we're going to open the fuse box that's under the hood. Okay, right here under the hood in front of the windshield on the passenger side and behind the shock tower. You will have one trim cover, remove it underneath you have a fuse box open the cover and you'll see that layout right here now before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's important to test fuses and relights so now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse right but uh, it could be guys a bad fuse sometimes it's really hard to tell it's hard to see you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you may end up spending time money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need so always test fuses it takes only uh, a few seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how to test relays as well relays are easy to test uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys so check out the links will be in the description of the video below so here we'll need to check a few specific fuses guys first fuse that we'll need to check will be fuse number 40 right here okay fuse number 40 then you will need to check guys fuse number 57 that fuse right here very important fuse okay right there and after that you have a hidden fuse box on the passenger side in the food well compartment right there uh, behind that kick panel trim remove it if you don't know how to do that we have a video on the channel you get to that fuse box here you count fuse number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fuse number ten and fuse number eleven will need to be checked here then you need to guys go to the trunk open the trunk the main fuse box is under the cargo liner here where that arrow is just pull that cargo liner out you will see that fuse box here here we will need to check two two more fuses specifically guys the first one is fuse number 100 that 15 m fuse right here fuse number 100 and then you need to check fuse number 161 that second 20 m fuse here hopefully the video will be helpful guys thank you for watching and see you next time